How fast does acral lentiginous melanoma grow? If you're wondering how fast acral lentiginous melanoma ALM grows, it's important to understand that this type of skin cancer can be quite deceptive and varies in its progression. First, let's clarify that ALM typically appears on the palms, soles, or under the nail beds, and it's not caused by sun exposure. This cancer can develop slowly over many years, often starting as a flat, brown, or black lesion with irregular borders. The growth of ALM can be divided into several stages. Initially, it may appear as a uniform brownish mark that gradually becomes darker and wider with a blurred, irregular border. At this early stage, the lesion might remain flat and not cause concern, but it can be growing deeper into the skin. As ALM progresses, it can become more irregular in shape and color. The surface of the lesion may remain flat even as it invades deeper into the skin, which can make it difficult to detect early. For instance, on the sole of the foot, it might be mistaken for a plantar wart until it becomes painful and discolored. The rate of growth can vary significantly. Some ALM lesions can grow slowly over several years before they become invasive, while others might progress more quickly. Studies have shown that ALM often presents at a later stage compared to other types of melanoma, partly because it tends to be diagnosed later due to its location and less noticeable symptoms. For example, ALM is more likely to be dead and have deeper thickness when diagnosed, which contributes to its worse prognosis. Approximately 38 to 45 percent of ALM cases are diagnosed at stage one, compared to 64 to 68 percent for non-ALM cutaneous melanoma. In terms of specific time frames, it's challenging to pinpoint an exact rate of growth since it varies widely among individuals. However, early detection is crucial because the survival rates for ALM are significantly lower if the cancer is not caught early. For instance, the five-year melanoma-specific survival rate for ALM is around 80% to 81%, compared to 91% to 93% for non-ALM cutaneous melanoma. To summarize, while the exact speed of ALM growth can vary, it is generally a slow process that can span several years. However, early detection and prompt treatment are critical for improving survival rates, as delayed diagnosis often leads to a worse prognosis.